hello guys today in this tutorial i will basically show you a very nice project that i built inside nextjs so it is a pdf invoice uh, crud application web application using mongodb in browser so with the help of this guys you can create invoices manage invoices uh, using uh, user information and uh, this is an interface guys it's a simply an admin panel basically here you can manage your invoices you can create them delete them or list them out in the table and we will be storing them persistently inside the mongodb database so we i have this community addition right here in my desktop so this is a project guys it is running on local host 3000 you will see that npm run dev i'm running this on local host 3000 so this is i open that so now there is a button out there to create a new invoice so there is a very beautiful form guys which comes right here and you need to fill out the address uh, city postal code country all that stuff you can enter your name after that uh, you will enter the email address so this will be different for you guys of whichever invoice you are creating again you need to put the street ad address So after you put this information we will have the invoice date you can check this uh, photo uh, calendar and to pick out your date of your invoice and then you need to say payment terms it will be automatic and the project description so let me say this is the source code project website so here we need to add items guys whichever items the user has purchased so let's suppose I say here sugar quantity here 2 and here you need to put the rate here per quantity is 32 so it will automatically calculate it will multiply 32 by 2 which comes out to be 64 again you can add a new item right here guys you can say here rice 2 and 1 is 68 again so we have added two items all that stuff so we have uh, save as draft option or we can send and save click on this option now your invoice is added successfully so if i check my database guys one entry has been added right here if i open this table you just need to refresh it so now this entry is added right here guys whatever client we put here client email address this is the account created payment due so payment terms is automatic but we have written description this is a source code of project website so all this information is stored guys inside the mongodb database now what we can do is that it is in a status of pending either we can make that invoice as paid by clicking this button or we can delete that or we can edit this information as again so if once again if you want to add some more items here you can also add some more items so you can see so you can see that we have added the third item there is an option here save changes so this nice little notification bar comes invoice updated successfully so now we have three items so live preview of the invoice is also shown to you guys in this uh, page so a lot more going on in the back end guys it is basically handing the back end and the front end together in nextjs application as you know so if you need the source code guys basically you can purchase the full source code of this project you can go to stripe.com and pay in indian rupees or you can go to paypal and pay in united states dollars so check the full description to purchase the full source code and you will also see this button guys delete if i click this button a uh, this will be asking that confirm deletion if i confirm it this then invoice will be deleted so there is a second option mark this invoice as paid if i do that click once and go to back here so now this invoice is simply paid here so this will change to green color that this invoice is paid so now we can create a, another invoice guys depending upon the user information whatever information that you got from the payment so i'm just running uh, just uh, not wasting time in writing the actual values i am filling out the sample values so this will replace accordingly guys from your 
location wherever you are living so basically again you need to select the date of the invoice payment terms pay, project description so we can add another item here we need to put the price here so that's all guys basically we also have uh, nice little information you can say send and save so now again this is in the pending stage so the nice thing is that you can click any of the invoice and basically you can also print this invoice as well as a pdf document so if you have want to have simply click print and this invoice will be printed right here if you see you can even save this as a pdf document if i click save now my pdf document will be downloaded just wait if i go to the downloads folder so this is a pdf file which was created guys if you see either you can print this pdf document grand total it gives you the pricing the number of items which are there in the invoice this is item name quantity price total so this is the actual invoice that you can generate you can also put a uh, colored photograph as well this is the invoice which is there so again we can simply click delete so now this invoice will be deleted so all the four operations i, I have performed guys how we can edit delete create and also view it so now if you basically purchase the full source code you will basically see this directory structure which will be coming to you if i show you the config file here so we are using that module that I talked about, which is MongoDB. We are using Next.js, React, React DOM, and React Toastify for the notification messages. So this is the actual project, guys. You will get all the source code. This is a global styles that I use for this application. And then we will wait. So inside the components folder, we have the layout, which is there. If you see the sidebar section which hold the sidebar logo of the application and the main thing is guys pages so pages contains the backend stuff which goes so it basically contains the backend code which goes we are basically making a mongodb connection to our local da database here using the mongodb library so inside mongo client we contains a message which connects to the western uh, you can see that we will it connects to your uh, MongoDB database. So it is running locally on 27017. So this will be the database name. So after that inside invoices folder. So again we are uh, extracting all the invoices which are present from the database. So this is the code for that. And for the edit operation same goes here. So if you want to edit something we once again will fetch the data first and then edit it. This is actual API for adding the invoice, editing the invoice and listing out all the invoices. So this is a fully fleshed uh, full stack project guys. If you need this project, you can go to the description and purchase the full source code and uh, it will be a very awesome PDF invoice application. Thank you very much guys for watching this video.